sometimes I feel like I can be drowning and I just can't catch a breath. So I simplified my life and I'm still working on it. But today I'm gonna share my top five ways that you can actually start to simplify your own life too. Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Abby and this is my channel, Chic Peach. It's great to have you here. I mostly share tips on decluttering and simplifying life, which is of course the topic of today's video. This video is sponsored by Mint Mobile, but I'll share more on them later. So what's the first step of simplifying your life? Decluttering, of course, it's true. Less is more. The more items we have in our house, the more items we have to clean and keep up on. When we declutter and downsize the things we don't need, our lives become simpler. So start decluttering and make it part of your lifestyle. It should not be a one-time task. It's just like maintenance for your household. Taking out the trash, cleaning your toilet, things that you should probably keep up on and do on a regular basis, but your house, your rules. When it comes to decluttering, my favorite method is to take every single box that comes into my home and fill it with clutter to get rid of. One box in, one box out. Most of what I declutter is donated, but I will occasionally list an item on eBay and make some extra money back from it, depending on how much it's worth. It is nice to earn money back, but I will tell you, donating is just so much easier and it gets your stuff out faster. Along with decluttering, it is so important to be more mindful of your purchases and your spending. If you're tempted to buy new things, try to make do with what you have already, unless it's a necessity. When you buy less, you save money. So it really is a win-win, less to declutter and more money in your bank account. Plus, when you have less, your home is so much easier to maintain and your environment will be less overwhelming. A clutter-free and clean home is a huge step in the direction of a simplified life. Step two, get organized. The best way that I can describe this is when everything has a place in my house, so does everything in my brain. When things are out of order in my home, I feel more flustered, it takes me longer to complete my tasks, I procrastinate so much, and my home ends up more and more unorganized and messier as I go. Just think about this. Clutter attracts clutter, just as mess attracts mess. Step three, get your finances in check. I could go on and on about this topic, but we don't have all day. So just a few things that you can do for your finances to make your life that much easier. One thing you can start with is to make a big picture of your financial situation. Create a spreadsheet to figure out your budget. What are you bringing in every month and what are you spending every month? Are you paying for any duplicate subscriptions or any services that you're not using anymore? Get rid of them. <laughs> Cancel them, seriously. I know, we all have gym memberships, and yes, I'm talking about those. The next thing you can do for your finances, consolidate any debt that you have. Rates right now are not very good. I work in the financial industry, and trust me, I know. Like I said, I could go on and on about this, but we'll talk more about that another day. <laughs> another thing you can do to streamline your finances is set your bills up for automatic payment. It's so important to spend less and save more. If you aren't spending as much and you're putting more in savings, you'll have less to stress about and more money to fall back on in emergency situations. Speaking of spending less, you can find cheaper options, and you should. An example of this could be a new insurance plan with the same amount of coverage for a more affordable price. Why not go with them? This could also mean switching cell phone providers for a more affordable price, which leads us directly into our sponsor for this video, Mint Mobile. Part of cutting down on finances is to find less expensive options in our lives. Phone plans are often so expensive, but I have found that Mint Mobile is actually pretty affordable and super convenient. When I first started my plan with Mint Mobile, I didn't have to call anyone and I didn't have to go anywhere. Now that I think about it, that's actually the easiest phone activation I've ever done. It took me less than five minutes start to finish. When I've activated new phones or contracts in the past, I've easily spent hours sitting with my phone provider just waiting for everything to be finished. Another thing I love about Mint Mobile is you don't have to lock yourself in for a crazy amount of time. You can choose three, six, or a 12 month plan. They offer flexibility with unlimited data, family plans, and you can even bring your own device. Mint Mobile understands the importance of keeping prices low for people like us and having awesome customer service with super short wait times, real people to talk to, and self-service options. They say their prices may be low, but we will never get anything less than the best level of service. And so far, I agree. And this is why I'm recommending Mint Mobile as an option for simplifying your life. 
Using the link in the comments or the description of this video, you can try Mint Mobile and get an unlimited data plan for only $15 a month. So go check them out. Step four, evaluate your relationships. Are there any people in your life who cause you stress or anxiety? Do you have any friends who seem to bring you down all the time? Try cutting out any relationships that feel toxic to you or try investing less time and effort into those people. When you give those relationships less attention and you set boundaries for yourself, you invite less drama and conflict into your life. There's no need to announce that you're taking time away or that you're taking a few steps back. Just do what you gotta do, take the time that you need, and remember that it is okay to prioritize yourself and your mental health. Focus more attention on the people who make you happy and lift you up and make you feel valued. Make the extra effort to show them how much you appreciate having them in your life. The point that I'm trying to make to you is to keep the relationships that lift you up and cut out the ones that bring you down. And step five. Slow down. Just take it one at a time. One day at a time. One box at a time. One big life change at a time. If you can. I know sometimes that's hard to avoid. But if you can help it, don't start big life changes until you've finished your last one. <laughs> Multitasking is not easy, it is not for everyone, and it can often leave you feeling more anxious about unfinished tasks. When you can complete something start to finish without any interruptions, it can feel so great. If you're trying to focus on multiple projects or tasks, you might end up being less efficient and putting in less effort even if you didn't mean to. It just happens when your attention is divided. If you want to do the best you can, try to focus on one thing at a time. It really helps, especially if you have ADHD. Now raise your hand if you've got it. Me too. So I know that focusing on one thing at a time is a lot easier said than done, but give it a try. When you slow down to appreciate the little things in life, you might find that you enjoy some of those chores. If you clean up regularly and you're not in a rush, maybe you'll enjoy straightening up the living room or doing the dishes or making your bed in the morning. There's just something so great about spending time in your home when it's clean and tidy and there's nothing to worry about. It's like one of my favorite things to be at home when it's clean. When you're at work, you're at work. When you're at home, you're at home and you should be able to feel relaxed. Keep your work life and your home life separate. I know that's also a lot easier said than done, especially if you have access to work from home. But please take it from me. I work from home in both of my careers. It's a lot and it's hard to separate yourself sometimes, but you gotta do it. Putting down your phone or your computer and separating yourself from technology can do wonders. It can allow you to be more present with your family, your friends, and yourself. Yes, you can be more present with yourself and your mental health will thank you. And those are just five of the many ways that you can begin to simplify your life. So please do me a favor and remember to give this video a thumbs up and comment your thoughts or any questions that you have. I would love to hear from you guys. If you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so much. I would love to know what steps are you willing to try and what made you want to simplify your life? How did you get to this video? So if you're looking to get started on decluttering, make sure to check out my video, Three Easy Steps to a Clutter-Free Home, and that will get you started on how to incorporate decluttering into your lifestyle. But that's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.